So you're bound to run into an issue where you have a bunch of audio clips on your timeline and you wanna add an effect that you have on one of them to all of them. So today I'm gonna to show you a couple of quick tips to apply that effect to all of them very easily and uh, not really have the pain of applying one, changing the settings, applying it again, changing the settings and so on. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. <laughs> Explore a wide selection of pre-made creative tools for DaVinci Resolve like titles, transitions, slideshows and infographs like bar charts and callouts, and much, much more. Link in the description for more information. Alrighty, so let's switch that over. Okay, so here is my clip that I'm going to be using. This is just a voice over me talking about one of the recent packs that I released. And one of the things that I like to add in is a dialogue processor. And to do that, I can simply just, let's say I have my clip here. If I come up and I apply it on there, now I can go through and change my settings. And because I applied it before I cut up this clip, now anytime I cut the clip, we can see that that effect um, copies over, as you can see the little F here, right, or FX. Uh, but what if you were to, you know, work on your project and maybe applying audio effects on is a process that you do later down the road. You run into a similar situation where you have your, you know, your multiple clips. Uh, they might not be from the same camera, but you want to apply the same thing. So you add it on and then you go through and you change your settings and stuff but now you gotta apply it to this one. The easiest way to apply uh, an effect that is already on a clip is the first copy V clip, right? So we're gonna click on this one and we're gonna go control C. We're going to be copying this, right? And then we're gonna come over to our other clips and maybe this is more than one clip. So we'll just go like this and we'll highlight whatever they are, or you can hold down shift and click to highlight, right? And then we're gonna hit alt V and it's gonna bring up this little dialog box and we're just concerned with down here in the audio. And I don't know why they called it a plugin because everywhere else in the interface, they call it an effect. Still kind of confused on that, but whatever. Um, it's referred to as a plugin in this dialog. We hit apply. All it's going to uh, apply is just the ones that are checked. So just because we did the audio, it's applying the audio. And as you can see here, this particular clip has two different uh, channels, right? And because I just highlighted them and they're all linked, it applied that effect to both. And, but over here, you see that it didn't. Um, so that is just something to keep in mind. If you didn't want to do it that way, you could simply just hold down Alt, highlight the ones that you want it, then Alt V, and then apply it. And it would only apply to the ones that are highlighted. Just something to note. So that is another way of doing it. But how I do it is I like to save um, even more time instead of going through and picking it. While I'm editing, I split everything up into separate channels for a lot of things. One for because then I can use the control to, to change everything. So I, I have multiple audio channels or multiple audio tracks, excuse me. And each one will have a different purpose. So one will be specifically for music. So then... I can have it listen to the others and do uh, side chaining. I believe I have a video on that. If not, you can look up what side chaining is. Uh, but it's so I don't really set it up where I have a bunch of different types of uh, audio um, uh, pieces of content on the same track. They all are the same. So if I if it's a voiceover, that whole thing is a voiceover. So let's just add in here. I'm just going to come down here so I can uh, fill up this name. And I'll just put in voiceover. So I have it there. And you know what? We're just going to uh, re-add that clip just because I don't want to remove those. And let's say we didn't have this and we want to take this and bring this down. And why don't I have snapping in? All right. So there we are. All right. So now let's say we have that and we have our uh, voiceover. What we can do is we can apply that effect to the track instead of each particular clip so easy enough to do that you just grab it and you drop it over here and now it is applied to anything that is on that track so obviously you don't want to put things in there that you don't want that effect applied to but you can add as many uh 
audio tracks you can go in the thousands now so you could you could honestly add as many as you want or maybe you're used to doing things on the um oh the other thing that i i, I should probably tell you is now um to uh, to to edit that if you want to is you're going to click over here the one thing that I don't like about the UI is when you click here, it doesn't highlight what you're clicking, right? It's paying the butt, but over here, it says what you have clicked, right? So it says voiceover. So if I go into effects, now I have the ability to change the settings. If you want the dialogue, you just click this, uh, these three little lines, and then you get your dialogue to come up. So that's kind of cool. Uh, if you're used to going over into Fairlight, it's something similar over in Fairlight. Everything that you do on the edit page is copied over into the Fairlight page, which is pretty awesome so we have here voiceover and if you wanted to apply the effect over here because maybe you're used to the tools over here if you want to use other tools that are only on the fairlight page you can simply just come over because this is uh audio track 2 come over to audio track 2 come in here click the little button and then we can add that uh, effect onto here as simple as that now i have it here in the effect stack and we can see it's written right there if I come back over onto the edit page, it will now show up over here as well. I can simply just click here, come up to the effects, and then I can go in and alter it here as well. So everything is linked between the two. Um, and that's kind of how I save time when I'm applying these different effects onto uh, different uh, clips. Now, if you're working on sound effects, obviously every single sound is going to need a different type of effect. So you're not going to want to add on um, a whole audio track, uh, an effect onto the whole audio track, but you can get away with adding a whole uh, effect onto let's say a voiceover or something like that so that's how i go about uh, applying effects simply uh, and quickly um, again if you are you know applying something to multiple things but they're in different places use the alt v uh, just copy you know control uh, um, c to copy and then alt v to get the dialogue to come up the other thing that you could do if you don't remember that or if you're on let's say um uh, a different system or whatever it may be uh you could simply just uh copy this go into copy then come over to your other uh, track uh right click and then go paste attributes and um if your keyboard shortcuts are something different it'll say it here and then you can just come down here into audio attributes and then plugins. Again, I don't know why they have it with plugins. It should just be effects if everywhere else in the interface they call it effects. But yep, yeah, that's what that is. Um, and yeah, that kind of covers it. Oh, if you're working on a, uh, a, a um, let's say you're working here and you click on here, but you want to work on the effect that is on the video. If we click here and we come to the effects, um, sometimes, hold on, let me show you when that doesn't really work. So if I come into here and let's say I add on to here that effect, right? And great. But then I click here, right? Because we have three here and I don't know why this does this, but we have an effect here, but we don't have an effect on this one. And the, uh, video track doesn't have an effect when I click here it doesn't show it right so it doesn't show that there is an effect there but we have one here so you'll just have to hold alt then click on the thing and then we will be able to go wait what what is going on right now hold on a second you click here yes and then click here okay then we can go in and you can get your dialogue and everything else so that's how that's done um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed that hopefully it uh, saves you some time um in your next projects whatever it may be but that's how i do it uh with that being said thank you for watching my name's jr stay safe have a good one i'll see you guys in the next one peace